The tea is brewing hot between Megan Thee Stallion and her ex bae, Party, a.k.a. Partisan Fontaine. Now, two weeks after Megan dropped some bombshells about her relationship in Cobra, Party decided to release some of his tea of his own in a newly released single, The Person. Party wrote, be for real. You ain't even realistic. Get lipo, then you started posting gym pics. The things that you're doing is sadistic. Spent four hours doing glam, not a blemish, but your foundation is off. You need to fix it. Clean up your spirit and not just your image. What are your thoughts on this clapback? He made a whole song from her one line about him. Um, Al, what do you think? Listen, I'm still, I still got to get used to these new age men clapping back like this to women. I'm just not used to that. Uh, so that part feels awkward. But listen, he has a right to clap back. She started it. Right. She she wrote a song and she dissed him and he he's answering the respond to it. And he probably the same way that women need to go to music to get whatever they got on their chest off. I think we need to allow the same space for men to use their music to get whatever is on their chest off. I don't think that we can say that it's OK for women to do it and it's not OK for men. And in this case, he just let it all out. He said he didn't like all the dudes that she was having sex with. She didn't like the he didn't like the fact that she was portraying an image that wasn't true the same way that she said that she didn't like the fact that he was sleeping in her bed with another woman so here's what it comes to this is the impasse and this is what you create when you have these types of talents and where they are these days here what do you think all is fair in love and war and let me tell you something i'd rather this than him shooting her in the foot I'd rather this than him beating her. I'd rather this than him stalking her. I'd rather this than him going in public on interviews, calling her all types of bitches and hoes. Uh, and the, the theme, today's show has been brought to you by Pay Me For My Pain. If they both been through it, you might as well make a song about it and get paid for it. To Al's point, she started it. If she did it, he's able to do it too. And in my opinion, this is healthy. To, to me, at least they're both getting something out of it. Cha-ching, which is a paycheck, versus just sitting on the internet, going off on each other on live. I think it's creative. I think it's art. And pour your pain into your art and get paid for it. So um, I agree that, you know, she she made a bar, one bar in a song that may, you can uh, uh, interpret it as she was talking about party. She never said his name, but you're okay. We can, we're not done. We can, all right, it was most likely party she's talking about. One line in her song where the whole theme was about depression, about people in her circle turning on her and throwing her under the bus, not being there for her. If they there was some infidelity, which they may have been on her side, may have been on his side, may have been on both their sides. I'm cool with him addressing that. I like that he said, not in your bed. Not Okay, maybe it was in your bed, maybe it was in his bed. But I what I didn't like was, you put like when you're in a relationship with someone like when you're with a best friend with someone right and then y'all fall out and then you give, give up all the stuff you gave when we was that was secret between us in our relationship i think that's effed up i don't like that part you don't got to talk about her lipo stuff i'm sure she could talk about your things things about you she only said that one line he made a don't matter song. don't yes. matter production, okay. production get ready to press somebody. hold on hold on get ready to press y'all about to gang up on me no no but not ganging up before we go to break i'm just gonna it. add a second line to your repertoire production okay. get ready to press the beat you can't do wrong to a motherfucker to tell them how mad to get. Yeah. You keep yeah. talking about he did one line and he did a soul, a whole song. He even say his name, Funky. No, it don't matter. He you can't say do his wrong name. to a motherfucker then tell them how mad, mad to get. Now I go to break. We need to go to break. I can get my break.